Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's declutter video. Now this week's video is going to be a little bit different than my previous videos because today I'm going to be sharing with you all for the most part what I have in the Alex 9 drawer. Now if you've been following me for a while then you know that I've had my Alex 9 drawer for a couple of years now and the original intent of this was to hold all of my makeup but as you all know I am an impulse shopper, I'm a makeup collector at heart so the Alex 9 drawer was just not working out anymore, so I had to go get more Alex drawers. Here, for the most part now, is where I store all my backups, all of my extras, things that I have nowhere else to put in, I put in here. So I'm going to go one by one with the drawers, except a couple of them because I know a couple of them don't have any makeup. I know one of them has nail polishes and the other one just has like little makeup bags so I won't be sharing that with you all. I'm going to open each drawer one by one with you all and I'm going to see if there's any items that need to be thrown away, if they're super old, if there's anything I can give to a family member or to a friend or if there's anything that I can set aside and declutter for my makeup sale that will be happening super super soon. Thank you all so much for your interest. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, without further ado, because we do have quite a bit of drawers and I don't want this video to be too, too long like last video was. So let's get started. First drawer. So these are in no particular order. I just honestly put products wherever I can put them at this point. That's why I really need to declutter and clean and get on with this makeup sale. So I have these Sephora Disney mirrors. I am really interested in putting these in the makeup sale because I originally bought them for my little cousins and my aunts would tell me, no, they're not good with that kind of thing. They would just destroy it. Okay, so these are really, really pretty. So I wouldn't want them to do that. So if you are interested, Please do let me know. So I have these three for sure. I'm going to put them aside. And this one I do want to keep. Oh my gosh. I didn't know I had so many. I remember this one being super, super difficult to find. And then I have this one. For sure I'm going to keep this one because I do. Cinderella is my favorite. I have this MAC. I think this is this is from the work it out and it's oh it's lavender okay well it's here keep that i have my I think, yeah this is my holy grail of all holy grails max studio fix fluid nc40 i just opened up another one so oh my gosh i've had this since 2008 i kid you not i remember in other declutter videos i always got rid of the other ones but i've never gotten rid of this one i don't know why i think it's because it was my first pro product oh my gosh so this needs to be back to mac i swear next year it'll be 10 years you should not have a powder for 10 years i don't even think they make it like this anymore this is the pro invisible powder they have the prep and prime but it, i don't know it's not the same to me so this is going to go back to MAC, the earrings that my mom got me. And then I have some highlighters from Give Me Glow. I have some shadows. And then I have this powder. What do I have back here? Oh, here I have, I don't know how you say it in English, ligas for the hair. And then I have this beauty blender that I got from my friend Joanna. Oh my gosh, I haven't used it just because it was a gift and I don't want to ruin it. But look, I don't even think they make it with this big chunky packaging anymore. But I don't want to ruin it, so I keep it. First drawer. Second drawer. Oh gosh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, so I have my Gope, which I of course will not give up. I have my Chris Chang. Won't give that up either. Supernova. Oh, I have never used this. I have, I know I have one in my blush drawer. I have never used this. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my to sell pile. 
And this is another one from the Heavenly Creatures collection, if I'm not mistaken. It's called Sweet Samba. I'm going to keep these. I'm sorry. This one is called Simmer. One of those mineralized blushes. This is from the Style Warriors collection. And it is called On a Mission. It's a beauty powder blush. Really nice light purple. Back in the day when I was first into MAC, I used to love plum blushes. I thought they looked amazing on me and needless to say that is not the case anymore. I'm, you know what? I don't, it's really pretty for the packaging and you know the collector inside of me but I'm gonna go ahead and put this, it's brand new, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the selling pile here. Painted Canyon. Oh I didn't even know I had this one. I'm sorry but I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. This is the Caitlyn Jenner. I think this is the Manila Skin Finish. I was looking for this in my skin finish drawer. So yes, I'm going to keep that because I actually really did like it. My Chris Chang. I have my Holiday Edition. The Kylie. Her favorite shades. And this special. This one is the Powder Blush in Buddy. And I actually really like that because it showed up on my skin tone. Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think these are the highlighters. This one is in Revere. Yes, these are the highlighters. This is Champagne Pop. I have mine and I already, you all know, I have way too many highlighters. So I'm going to go ahead and put this not in my to sell pile, but in my giveaway pile. Next, I have the MAC Nutcracker Sweet face compact i think this one is the copper one of course this is the copper face compact with whisper of guilt i'm going to go ahead and put these in my little for sale tray i have a little tray for it because i know i have some more of these roaming around my room somewhere so these are gonna go for the sale the extra dimension skin finish and yes i think i'm going to put these in the for sale tray I don't think that tray is going to be big enough. Touch my body loose powder. Putting this in the for sale tray. I have the Star Trek Strange New Worlds. This is called the Trip the Light Fantastic Powder. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the for sale tray. Then I have my Chanel blushes, which I absolutely love. I have this Becca mineral blush in wild honey i actually got this for free with the beauty insider gifts and that whole thing technocumbia everyone probably already has maxalina but i'm gonna see if i can sell these because i know i have more of them somewhere in this room i have this ocean city blush and I know I have one in my blush drawer, so I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. These are the only two NARS products that I have. They're cheek palettes. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I actually posted a picture of these. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the sale pile. Next, I have these MAC... Oh, see, look, I have another in my name here. MAC quads. I'm going to keep them. Yes, I know, the collector inside of me. I just, I can never give up spiced chocolate. I think I have two of spiced chocolate. I can never, ever give up spiced chocolate. So sad to say that I am going to keep my quads. In the back, if you're curious, I have some blushes, which I will never, ever give up because they were difficult to track down. So I think that's really, really good for this story. Next, I think, is lipsticks. Yep. The lippies. You can see I got to a point where I just started putting makeup anywhere I could. I have some eyeliners here. And if it looks like I'm lower, it's because I sat down. This, for the most part, as you can see, are lipsticks. I have some eyeliners. I do have Heat Wave. And I have two of them, so I'm going to give or well, put one away in the makeup sale i have a whole bunch of lipsticks and i know i have some more really lipsticks but i don't think they're obviously as you can see they're not here so i'm gonna try and sell a whole bunch of these 
lipsticks because I really don't need them. Put them in the pile. Okay, so let's see here. Some lipsticks I can maybe give away or put in the... I don't even remember these two. Riri Boy, favorite. Viva Glam Riri. Viva Glam Cindy. Pure Heroin. I'm pretty sure this was the Lord collaboration. I'm going to put one up in the for sale. Daddy's little girl. Let's see. Ho. Can't give that one up. Let's see. These two were from the Playland collection. I have Evening Rendezvous from the Magic of the Night collection. I can put this one in the for sale pile. I don't even remember getting some of these lipsticks. Let's see. I have Brooke Candy. Actually, I can probably get this one. I don't. I'm not really a big fan of oh my Juan Batista Valley lipsticks. I know I have all of them. Chris Chang lipsticks, of course, my favorite. I love this lipstick. <gasps> okay, I've had this for years. You know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, this is no. I don't know what to say because it is Givenchy, but. Girl, I've had this for many, many, many years. I think it's time. It's time, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. This is Hello Kitty Popster. Look how cute this is. It's brand new in box, so I don't want to open it. I don't want to sell it. I should. I should because it's just going to waste. But... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to think about it. This was from the Antonio Lopez collection. It's a lip palette, if I'm not mistaken. So it's Candy Yum Yum, Moxie, and Violetta. Violetta. Look how gorgeous this is. I think, yeah, I have multiples of Margarita. So I'm going to put this in the sale pile. These were given to me by my brothers. So that's why I don't want to give them up. They were from a holiday collection. Oh look, a MAC brush. I didn't even know I had. This is the... I don't know if they still make this. This is the MAC 179. It's a split fiber brush. Lipstick and deliciously forbidden. I don't even know if they make these anymore. This is the lip glass. I think this is the yeah Viva Glam Cindy lip glass. And um, you all know I'm not a really big fan of lip glass. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the for sale pile. Cranberry. And this is from the Sharon Osborne collection. I'm going to go ahead and put it for sale because I still haven't used it. And I think I'm good with this. Next drawer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is, I'm pretty sure, all lip products. Well, yeah. These are my Give Me Glow lipsticks that I haven't opened. As you can see, you know, I have a lot. There's more underneath here. Yes, I have a lot of them. And I have these little chapsticks. I think I'm going to put these in the, whenever I do a little giveaway, I can stick those in there. I have this Kat Von D. Oh, look! The Givenchy La Rouge Couture Edition. <laughs> this was, oh my gosh, this, I haven't even opened it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Lord, I, I, I promise you I haven't even opened this lipstick. Look how beautiful it is. I really don't need this lipstick. It's really pretty. Look at it. Von D limited edition Lolita lip duo with the original and the second badge or something like that. I'm pretty pretty sure I have the original, whichever one it is, the original Lolita. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the for sale pile because I know it was limited and they don't have it anymore. <laughs> See, I have more of the, <laughs> these are the original ones too. A more matte lip creams. They have discontinued these. There are some shades in the permanent line that are very close. But I know there is no shade like Crush. These are all brand new. Wet and Wild. Oh, Carmex. And this is Milani. These are all brand new. 
These are probably from when I used to coupon and I would get them for free because Wet n Wild had a dollar off coupon and these are a dollar so it would work out. So I think I'm going to put this in the giveaway and then I have a box. This is Party Pink. I don't know why I have that. Oh, this is Pure Hollywood. It's brand new, so I'm going to put this in the giveaway. Some Milani lipsticks. I know these were limited. I don't. I know they don't. This was for a special collection. So all these are going to go in the giveaway box. And all of these are Kylie lip kits that I haven't opened. And then I have some Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I have Lolita. I think that was the first batch. And I can't say that. I should probably put these in the for sale. They will be regular price because I know they're permanent. Just not Lolita because I do want to keep Lolita. So I'm going to go ahead and put these up here. Look at how I'm doing so far. Pretty good. Done with this. Next I have... Oh. This is... I actually got this from Jerlyn. I swapped something i think it was a hello kitty bag for this and i've never ever ever used it this is the Lorac pro palette the first one it's the rock and red hot pro set and it was exclusive to ulta drilling used to work at ulta and she got this and i wanted it because the pro palette but i've never ever used it i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the for sale pub i remember i gave this away when i originally got this and then they brought it back the next year was it last year or the year before who knows but i still have it so <laughs> if you're interested in this please do let me know i'm serious because as much as i tell you all oh i'm gonna use it this is such a good deal because it is it does you know the beauty blender itself and then i know all of these are super raved about and it has never ever been open it's just been in my drawer please do let me know this is why oh my gosh see i have problems so i'm gonna go ahead and put this aside and then this is a little sample that i got from sephora these are all from tony molly these are actually from my mom these are my mac pop and prime fix plus this one is in oh these are all my full size from that collection a couple years back i always say like a year ago it was not a year ago i wish it was a year ago yeah, these are all my backups of backups. Yes. Okay, this one I think is nail polish. Yes, and that one's just a hot mess. We're gonna oh, we should do a declutter video on that one. Let me know if you want to see a declutter video on my nail polishes because a lot of these have to go. Like they really do. Let me know. Next, I'm pretty sure are all brand new. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. All of these things are brand new. Okay, where to start? I have this City Color Cosmetics. This is the brush set that I was telling you all in my brush declutter video. I really do like this set. This is the Josie Moran Argan Pure Cleansing Essentials. I can't remember when I got this. But I really do like the cleansing oil. I have gone through two full size. But I just have so many cleansing. You know what? But I, I think I'm going to like these wipes. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I have Misha Time Revolution line, the first treatment essence mist. I haven't tried this. I think I tried this once and then I put it back. I don't know why. I should try this. So I'm going to keep that. I have my favorite, favorite. I don't know why they're in here. I just, maybe because I haven't gotten a chance to wash brushes. Alice Airbrush 56 in special packaging as you can see. So I'm definitely going to keep that. I have these little, what are these called, like lip balms I'm going to keep. I have this Beauty Blender dupe that I got at Walgreens. I have the Laura Mercier and Indiscretion. I think this was super, super raved about, the face illuminator. Let me see if I can show you all. Okay. Oh my lord, look how gorgeous this is. Look at that. You know what? 
I've never ever used it and I know I've had this for at least two years. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the for sale pile. The Kat Von D limited edition trooper eyeliner. Super, super cute. I'm going to keep that. Have the wet and wild take on the day eyeshadow primer. This is still the Fergie and Fergie obviously isn't with wet and wild anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the giveaway. Giveaway pile. The Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. I got this with the BI thing. So I'm going to keep that. Too Faced Soulmates. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. This is the Eternally Yours Liquid Lipstick Set. I know so many people were wanting this. And as you can see, it's brand new. So... As much as I, because I really want to try these. I still haven't tried the Stila liquid lipsticks and I've heard really good things about them. Should I keep it? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the for sale. I don't want to. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Glean. I have this It Cosmetic CC Cream Full Cup. You know what? It's tan, but it doesn't really show up all that great on my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the for sale pile. Then I have this bag that I got from Ulta. Oh look, my little masks. There's some gift gift purchases. Oh, see? I've been looking for this. This is the House of Lashes set that I got from Sephora. I think for the VIB sale or something like that last year i know i made a haul video with it i've been looking for it and then i have this hello kitty blush set this was from sephora years ago and as much as i want to keep it because it's hello kitty i'm considering selling them but i'm not too sure if anyone would be interested and that's a tony moly cream so let me go ahead and put this bag that is it oh, that one is skincare and that bottom one is makeup bags yeah so i won't be showing those two drawers because there's nothing to declutter in there when i do my makeup collection and storage video i will definitely show you all what's in there and everything how everything is now cleaned out that is it for this video part one of decluttering my extras and backups and this is everything. I think I did a really, really good job. I'm super proud of myself. I think I did a pretty good job this week, but as always, please let me know your thoughts down below. I always look forward to reading and just chatting back and forth with you all. If you did enjoy this week's declutter video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications for next week's video. I can't wait. I'm super excited. Thank you all so much for watching the declutter series. I will have the playlist down below if you missed one of the videos or if you just want to catch up. I really hope you all have a great rest of your day. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you all next weekend. Bye everyone!